ऑल इंडिया रेडियो प्रेजेंट्स मॉर्निंग न्यूज गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम लालिमा अनेजा डैंग द हेडलाइंस टूडे इज द लास्ट डे फॉर विदड्रॉल ऑफ नॉमिनेशन फॉर असेंबली इलेक्शन इन महाराष्ट्र एंड हरियाणा National Conference delegation from Jammu meets party president Farooq Abdullah and vice president Umar Abdullah in Srinagar. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh leaves for France today to participate in the Rafale fighter aircraft handing over ceremony. A special bench of Supreme Court to hear today a PIL challenging Maharashtra government's decision to fell trees in Mumbai's RA colony. Mauritius Prime Minister recommends dissolution of parliament and holding general elections next month. And in sports, Surinder Singh creates three world records at the World Powerlifting Championship in Berlin. Today is the last date for withdrawal of candidature for assembly elections in Maharashtra and Haryana. Political parties are gearing up for the polls on the 21st of this month. in maharashtra after the scrutiny of nominations 4739 candidates were found valid out of 5543 candidates but there are many rebels from the main parties including the bjp shiv sena congress and the ncp in the fray and these parties are busy trying to pacify the rebels and convince them to withdraw the nominations here's more from a correspondent Rebels in different parties like BJP, Congress, Shiv Sena, and NCP are trying hard to convince their rebel candidates to withdraw their nominations. Strongmen like Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis and State Minister Chandrakant Patil are busy in the efforts to pacify rebels. These parties have the fear of split in votes and also the possibility of surprise defeat. Many leaders willing to contest the election have filed their nominations as independent candidates after not getting the tickets from their parties. Nominations can be withdrawn till 3 p.m. today. Shailesh Patil, AIR News, Mumbai. In Haryana, a galaxy of top BJP leaders, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi, will be campaigning in the state over the next few days. A party statement says he will address the first rally at Balabgarh in Faridabad district on October 14, and on October the 15th, he will address three more rallies in Dadri, Thanesar, and Hisar. Union Home Minister and BJP President Amit Shah, party's working president JP Nadda and Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath will also address election meetings in the run up to the polls. The BJP has 48 members in the outgoing assembly. It has set a target of winning 75 plus seats in the 90 member house. Counting of votes will be taken up on the 24th. Maharashtra has 288 assembly constituencies. A delegation of National Conference from Jammu Province met party president Farooq Abdullah and vice president Umar Abdullah who are currently under detention in Srinagar. The delegation led by Jammu's provincial chief of the party Davinder Singh Rana met the two leaders. This was the first meeting of Umar Abdullah with a party delegation after he was detained on August the 5th a day when the center announced abrogation of special status to the state under Article 370. The Jammu and Kashmir administration had allowed the NC delegation to meet the two leaders. Party sources said they discussed the prevailing political situation, upcoming block development council elections and other issues with the top leadership to chalk out the future course of action. In yet another ceasefire violation, Pakistani troops targeted forward posts and villages along the international border and the line of control (LOC) in three districts of Jammu and Kashmir yesterday. The firing took place along the international border in Hiranagar sector of Katwa district and along the LOC in Digwar area of Punch district and Naushera and Lam in Rajouri district. Officials said there was no report of any casualty in the firing. Indian army retaliated and the exchange of fire between the two sides lasted a few hours. Officials said Pakistani rangers also targeted Maniari and Chadwal in Hiranagar sector last evening which was retaliated by the BSF. State DGP Dilbag Singh said Pakistan attempts to push infiltrators during the ceasefire violations. Unchore Jori ke area mein bar bar ceasefire violation ho raha hai. 
उधर उड़ी के एरिया में है नामला के एरिया में हो रहा है करना और केरन के एरिया में हो रहा है और ये सीज फायर वॉलेशन जो है इसके दौरान पाकिस्तान आर्मी की कोशिश ऐसी है कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा मिलिटेंट्स को पोषण करने की कोशिश करें हमारी जो एंटी इन्फिल्ट्रेशन ग्रिड है जो बॉर्डर की ग्रिड है काफी मजबूत है और उनकी बहुत सारी ऐसी कोशिशें जो है वो नाकाम की गई हैं फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन विल इनोग्रेट नेशनल ई असेसमेंट सेंटर एन ई ए सी फॉर बेटर टैक्स पेयर सर्विस एंड प्रमोशन ऑफ ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस इन न्यू डेली टूडे इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट्स एन ई ए सी विल अवॉइड फेस टू फेस इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन द टैक्स पेयर एंड द टैक्स ऑफिशियल्स वी हैव अ डेस्क रिपोर्ट ऑन दिस In line with the Prime Minister's vision of Digital India, National E-Assessment Centre or NEAC is a step to reduce taxpayer grievances. Under this system, taxpayers have received notices on their registered emails and their registered accounts on the web portal www.incometaxindiaefiling.gov.in with real-time alert by way of SMS. The notice specifies the issues for which the cases have been selected for scrutiny. Replies to the notices can be prepared at ease by taxpayers and sent by email to the NEAC by uploading it on designated web portal. Tripti Shivastav News Desk. External Affairs Ministry's Development Partnership Administration Division is organizing a conference in New Delhi today to celebrate the 55th anniversary of India's flagship capacity building program Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation ITEC. External Affairs Minister S Jay Shankar will preside over the event. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts and News on AIR app. Supreme Court has set up a special bench to hear a PIL challenging Maharashtra government's decision to fell trees in Mumbai's Are colony to build a metro rail yard. A two-judge bench comprising Justices Arun Mishra and Ashok Bhushan will hear the case today. The Apex Court took the decision based on a letter written by one Rishav Ranjan with regard to felling of trees in Are forest which has been converted into a PIL. Green activists have been opposing axing of trees by Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation MMRC in RA colony. Meanwhile, a sessions court in Mumbai granted bail to 29 protesters arrested over the last 2 days. In Bihar, fear of epidemic outbreak looms large in flood affected areas of the state. Over 1300 dengue cases have been reported throughout the state of which about 700 are from capital Patna. Many low-lying areas of Patna are still waterlogged. The government has deputed doctors in the affected areas. Over 22 lakh people spread over 1004 villages of 15 districts including Patna, Nalanda, Katihar and Khagaria are reeling under the impact of floods. Rail services on Patna Gaya and Bakhtiarpur Rajgir section of East Central Railways have been restored. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will leave for France today on a two-day visit. He will meet French President Emmanuel Macron tomorrow. Later, Mr Singh will participate in the Rafale fighter aircraft handing over ceremony with French Minister of Armed Forces. He will also perform the Shastra Puja on the auspicious occasion of Vijaya Dashmi and fly a sortie in the Rafale fighter aircraft. The defense minister is also scheduled to hold the annual defense dialogue with the French Minister of Armed Forces. He will address the CEOs of the French defense industry during which he is likely to urge them to participate in Make in India and the Def Expo to be held in Lucknow in February next year. Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Dharmendra Pradhan will embark on a 3-day visit to Mongolia from today. He will participate in the opening ceremony of infrastructure that Mongolia has already constructed for the Indian funded Mongolia refinery project. The Mongol refinery project is being developed under a line of credit of over 1.2 billion US dollars extended by India during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Mongolia in 2015. In Mauritius, parliament has been dissolved and general election announced to be held next month. Prime Minister Pravind Kumar Jagnauth said in a video statement that he has advised the president to dissolve parliament and to issue the writ for general elections. He said voting will take place on November 
Jagnath, 57, who is also the finance minister, will seek another term as leader of the movement's socialist militant MSM. He has served as prime minister since 2017 when he took over from his father, Anirudh Jagnath. Mauritius, a popular tourist destination and one of Africa's most stable nations, holds elections every five years. The last general elections were held in 2014. In Rwanda, security forces killed 19 terrorists blamed for a weekend attack that left 14 dead near the Volcanoes National Park, famous for its mountain gorilla sanctuary. In a statement, the police said security forces were able to follow these terrorists to kill 19 of them and arrest five following the attack overnight on Friday in northern Rwanda. Police spokesperson told reporters that investigations are going on to find anyone else who was part of this attack. The attack was blamed on democratic forces for the liberation of Rwanda fighters. Well, back home, Mahanavmi or Durga Navmi is being celebrated in different parts of the country today. On this day, Goddess Durga is worshipped as Mahishasur Mardini, which symbolizes the victory of good over evil. Our Lucknow correspondent reports on puja celebrations in Uttar Pradesh. Let's listen in. Devotees are breaking their nine-day-long fasting at Mahanaumi, the last day of Navratri today. The goddess temples are abuzz with the large number of devotees and the atmosphere is reverberating with the chanting of bhajans, kirtans and sounds of conch and cells. Devotees are offering coconut, rare tunnery and fruit to the goddess. Kanya Bhoj are being organized at various places including capital city Lucknow. District administrations have made all security and necessary arrangements for immersion of Ma Durga idols. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has greeted people on this occasion. MS Yadav, AIA News, Lucknow. Sports news now. Surinder Singh of India created three world records at the ongoing World Powerlifting Championship in Berlin, Germany. Surinder bagged gold medal in 110 kilogram category, Classic Raw, and the Best Lifter Award in Classic Raw and Single Ply. Three time world champion Mukesh Singh went on to add another feather to his cap by winning yet another gold, only to be known as four time world champion. On the first day of the championship yesterday, Indian contingent bagged a total of four gold and one silver medal. The News Services Division of All India Radio in its weekly bilingual live phone-in program, Public Speak, will bring you a discussion tonight on Jal Shakti Abhiyan and Water Conservation. This can be heard on FM Gold Channel and additional frequencies from 9.30 p.m. Listeners can ask questions to the experts sitting in our studio on toll-free telephone number 1-800-11-5767. You can also ask questions on the telephone number 011-2331-4444 and post queries on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts by hashtag AskAIR. And now for an overview of today's newspapers, it's over to Sunil Varma. Thank you, Lalima. NCT meets Farooq and Umar demands release is the Times of India headline. India shall receive first Rafale jet on the Shahra. And the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh shall perform Shastra Puja in Paris, says the Asian Age. The Pioneer reports that about 50 former MPs have not vacated government accommodation, despite reminders even five months after the dissolution of Lok Sabha. New guidelines to put recycling onus on plastic manufacturers is the Hindustan Times deadline. headline. The Business Standard reports a multinational company coming up with cardboard deodorant and a bamboo toothbrush to cut its plastic use. From today it's till the 10th of February 2020, Punjab will have light and sound shows at 26 places, marking the 550th Gurpurab of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, says the Tribune. With that, it's back to you, Lalima. Thank you, Sunil. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Today is the last day for withdrawal of nominations for assembly elections in Maharashtra and Haryana. National Conference delegation from Jammu meets Party President Farooq Abdullah and Vice President Umar Abdullah in Srinagar. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh leaves for France today to participate in the Rafale fighter aircraft handing over ceremony. A special bench of Supreme Court to hear today a PIL challenging Maharashtra government's decision to fell trees in Mumbai's RA colony. Mauritius Prime Minister recommends dissolution of Parliament and holding the general elections next month. 
and in sports, Surinder Singh creates three world records at the World Powerlifting Championship in Berlin. And that's all we have for you in the morning news. Have a great day ahead.